Okay, click and go. Click and play, click and work. Right, these are a range of accessories. Now this is our second video. We did a first video when we first looked at these and we really hadn't worked it all out. So we've sort of half worked it out now. Um, so I'm gonna go through it again. Um, we've got air, all the accessories you can get here. So basically it's a modular set of accessories that go on the headrest and it's sold by Jaguar and Land Rover. You can see this all branded Jaguar, summer branded Land Rover. Um, and Jaguar and Land Rover do the same thing. So I could get this, this one, a Jaguar one, and this one, a Jaguar one, and that one, a Land Rover one. And basically, it's a base, which we'll have a look at in a minute, that mounts between the two metal posts of your seat, your front seat headrest, to form a useful hook or hanger or table for backstreet passengers. Um, so we're going to have a look at that. Now, Land Rover and Jaguar only sell it for certain cars, but we've got, we've tested it since we did the first video and it fits on the Freelander 2, it fits on the P38, it fits on the Range Rover L322, it fits on the first Range Rover Sport, it fits on the Discovery 3, the Discovery 4. So we are going to re- sort of market these and put them out there for all the cars. I don't know why they only sell it for new cars. I guess that's just the way Land Rover work. So we are going to show you how to fit it. We're working on our Project Range Rover Sport today. Our trusty crashed one and we'll have a look at that later. Um, but let's have a go. So the key to it all is this. Um, this is the click and go base. So you'll notice they're all click and something. So we've got click and hang, click and hook, click and work, click and play. But the base is click and go base, okay? Right, and what is this? So we get, last time we did scan that QR code with our phone and it did take us to the instructions, um, but hopefully I can explain because the instructions were quite, so you don't actually get any instructions with it. But what you do get is you get a, this is important, you get a, that's a release clip. We know what these things do now. Right, and, and we got two little clips, so. Let's have a look, get this out of here. Right, so this is gonna sit between the two seat headrest supports like so. And basically, if you press this button here, you can, you could use this a little bit of a workout to build up your muscles if you want. I probably need to do that. Um, now you'll notice this branded Land Rover, some of them will be branded if you buy the Jaguar one, you'll have the Jaguar branding. Um, now, the key also to it is this little mouth here. Now this is where all the accessories are gonna dock into. So that needs to be facing towards the rear seat passengers, okay? If you fit it that way, it's not gonna work, okay? But, and I guess um, that way your logo is gonna be upside down, but it would work. Um, so that way is the best And But remember that's the, and then once it's in place, if you need to release it, you, you, you have to press that button, okay? So it's spring loaded. Right, okay, now these clips, when we get in the car, are gonna fit into these little slots here. Can you catch that? There you go, and then they're gonna fit in, and they snap in, and that stops the this base being removed, um, which I guess is handy. Um, but you also get this clip, and what that does is, once they're installed, they click in, I'll show you, like that. You can't pull that out, and believe me, I've tried, you can't pull that out, without this little release tool. And there's a little tiny slot on each side. And if you put that release tool in and push it, it goes with a bit of a click. And you see, it's like that. that is. Then you can pull, pull this little bit out. So, there you go. So that's what that's all about. Right, so we don't need that. You just need to keep that somewhere in your toolbox in case you want to release it. So, should we go and get this in the car? Yes. Right, okay, so. Right, so it's going to go between the headrest mounts, but hold on a minute, we can't see the headrest mounts. So, one drawback of this system is you do have to raise the headrest so much. So much. Um, now, if you've got a very short person that likes sitting in the front and they like their headrest at this height, that's not going to be ideal. But, right, so how do we raise the headrest? You've got to put your... Is that... Put your, it doesn't work now. So you've got to put the ignition on. Have to put the ignition on quick. Raise that up, you can see the. Now if you haven't got electric headrests, 
I think there's just a little there's just a little button you've got to press there and then you push it up um, right ignitions off right then so you got this sorry George I'm making you run around right okay so here we go so let's make sure we got the logo the right way up we've got the mouth facing us and we've got to, we've got to put that there and it, you can push all you like but unless you press that button on the back you're getting nowhere so there we go so that's formed the thing right now let's put the little it doesn't matter which way up these go let's put these little clicks on click and I know. click right okay so now we've got a base and it, it probably to stop it doing that it's probably as well just to lower the headrest back down again which we'll do in a minute but for now that's fine right let's have a look so we've now got a receptacle that we can dock a whole range of accessories in to. Um, right, so let's have a look what accessories we've got. They all mount the same way. So we can put all that to one side. Right, and let me just grab something to slice those open with. Oh my goodness. Right then, so let's have a look what we've we got. This Jaguar brand of this one, this is a click and hook. So this is for those of you that have your your smart jacket you take to work with you. you try, try not to. Goodness me. I should have got the knife in. Right, here we go. Click and hook. Now I haven't actually seen one of these, but I have a feeling it's not gonna be that complicated. That seems to be generic instruction. Right, um. Oh, he's got some weight to it. Oh, he looks a bit delightful. It's quite heavy. It's, I think it's um, metallic. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so this bit is actually metal. So, um, so it's quite a nice bit of kit, actually. So, um, so what have we got here? We got, so when we press these little bits in here, you see those little bits? So that is going to dock into our thing, and that should give us a hook. Oh. Right, so that. And then we can hang our... Uh, Hang your coat hanger or whatever, your shopping bag or your handbag or whatever you want to hang off that. And then if you want to remove it, you just got to squeeze those two. There we go. So that is, oh, was that click and hook or click and hang? That was click and hook. Yes. Click and hook. Right. So that's the click and hook. Right, let's see if I can open a plastic bag better this time. Well, evidently not. Right then. So, so I guess you could use a click and hook with a IKEA coat hanger, or you could buy this click and hang. If I can get it out of the box. Let's have a look. Whoa. Right. So again, we've got the generic instructions. I don't want to wreck this box too much. So there we go. Look what we've got here. Right, so oh we've got a little fold out bit there. So that folds out. We're gonna dock that in and we're gonna hang it that way up, yes. <laughs> and that should give us somewhere to hang our jacket. So let's have a look. What what button does that do there? Does that oh well, that does release, I'm not sure why. Uh, I'm not sure what benefit that gives you. Um but that, I guess you could, does it go round two ways? No, it only seems to click in one way. It looks, no, it's not symmetrical. But it clips in that way, let's check that again. No, it won't click in, so it only goes in that way. Um, so there we go, right, let's have a look what that looks like in the car. Get out of the way a little bit. There, so that allows you to hang your jacket up there. What else is there? Is there any other sneaky features I've missed on this? There looks to be something going on here. Whoa! What's this do? Oh, is that so you can take your jacket? I got it now. So you, you hang your jacket up, look. You check into the Savoy. You want to grab your jacket, but you don't want to put it on. So what you can do is you can lift this hook, press this button at the back here, 
I'm saying. And I can carry my jacket into the into the Savoy with me. That's flash. There you go, I've worked it out. Right, there we go. And then if you if you don't need your jacket, you can hide that away somewhere. So there we go, so what's that? That was clicking, clicking hook. Right. Right, now what have we got? What are we going for next? Click and work. Now we did we did do this one last time. And I wasn't impressed with it. Now, someone did point out to me that I'd not noticed the key feature, but I'll let you decide the key feature. I'm not sure revolutionizes it. Right, so what have we got here? So this is basically, this is your McDonald's meal holder, isn't it? Right, so, so we, here we go, here we go, here we go. So we've got, we've got to find the, the mount bit. Again, that seems fairly standard, but it doesn't lock. This was the issue I had with it before. And then, this was the bit I missed before, but let me just get it. Okay, so if you, if you rock that forward, you've got a table. So we'll dock this in a minute. Now, um, if you push too hard, the table does sort of give way. It does have a, a clutch sort of on it, but it's pretty good. And we've got the flip down drinks holder. Now, the problem I had was the angle it sat at was this doesn't lock, so it it was free to move. Now someone has pointed out to me that I'd missed the little bit underneath where you can slide this out. And then that's got an adjustable rear mount that you can use and that pushes against the seat to set the angle. So let's just look at that again. You push that in. Right, so let's have a look what this looks like on the car. Okay, so we've got that in there. I need to move that seat forward a bit. I'm a, I'm a little. Now this was my issue before. I couldn't quite work out what all this was about. But if I press that button underneath, and so if I get around the other side, George, you can perhaps get a better view. All right. Well, I've got that front seat way too. I can push that forward there, and that does stop against the thing. So, so that does allow you to, to get it level. Um. It's okay. I'm still not sold on this one. Ben, Ben, our photographer, thinks this one's this one's the business. He thinks that's all right. And I guess you could flip that up, and you might be able to get a laptop on there. Um, but there we go. That is a little better than the first review where I didn't do it justice. Um, so right, there we go. So let's clip that back up. Slide that back up out the way. Oh, is it gonna push that in? It's a little awkward to use. Right, and then undock it. Right, okay, so there's that one. I mean, it does fold up quite neatly. You could chuck that in the boot. It's, it's not all bad. Right, my favorite is the click and play. And this is the eye. Now you can get this in. You can get this for an iPad mini, a, a Samsung tablet. There's a whole host of these. I'm running low on battery. George is telling me. Now let's, have a, let's have a look at this. So, so this does come with an anti-scratch shield for your anti-glare, which is um which is good. I guess that, that helps. Alright, uh, and then we get all right. Okay, so this is what we call this, I keep forgetting the names of all of these, click and play. And, right, so let's have a look. So, now this one doesn't flip out. This one I like, it's got a better, because you have to press that to move it, so you can set it to increments, the angle it, it sits at. Um, not only that, you can press that and spin this round, and it locks, does it lock in there? It locks two ways round, but also, this actual screen has got a nice clicky ratchet lock to it. So th this is actually my favorite, but of course it's no good for holding a McDonald's drink. Um, right, let's have a look at that one then. Right, so again, we click into the base, same deal. If I can find it. Ah, no, you've got to get it the right way up, look. Okay, so. Now what we can do is we can press that button on the top, 
which is at the bottom at the minute, and then that goes this way. And then if we press this button here, I can move it to where I want. And obviously I can turn this, but I could also, now I've got it at that angle, turn it up here, which is much more comfortable. And if I want to watch it that way or do something there. So that's actually my favorite, but I mean, uh, it's got a little clip here to hold you. Can you see that? I'll put it down the bottom. You've got a little clip here to hold you. So you put your, your iPad in there. And that's that. Right, that is my whistle stop tour of the click and go accessories. So, hope that's a better video than the one I did first time.